Alright people, now this is my physics experiment. Now this is the basic setup for my experiment. Here we have a laser pointer taped to cardboard so we can adjust height. Now we have a prism, a piece of paper under the prism, and a piece of paper on the wall. Now this experiment basically allows us to measure sugar content by using just the laser, the laser pointer and the laws of refraction. Now, we're going to start by labeling some points. Oh, we're going to start by labeling some points of where the light enters the prism and exits the prism and where it's going to hit the paper on the wall. So I'm going to start here. All right. I'll label this point. I'll label the point where it enters point D. Point E and over here it would be point B. After we're done labeling these points, we have the first step over. Thank you. Now we will be measuring the index of refraction of the lemon juice. Now we start by filling the prism with the lemon juice. The points B, D, and E are already placed on the papers. Now we're going to start by pinpointing point A, which is the refraction point. Now, let me just get my pencil. Thank you. Alright, see, after we point the beam through the prism, what happens is it goes through refraction and ends up here, away from point B. Alright. Mark point A. Here's point A. Now we have to mark another point. Point F, which is the point that where the light exits out of the prism. Now we have to move the prism to mark that. I'm just pinpoint its location. Alright. Let me move the prism. And it will be over here. Point F. Alright, now that we have point F, we dripped a little bit on the paper, but it's fine. Point F. Now we will be measuring the distances between these points. Alright, we will be measuring... Well, first we're going to be measuring distance x between a and b. Alright, get my ruler. Yeah. Get my ruler. Alright. Let's start. Alright. Alright. And it is about eleven point seven centimeters. Just record on a piece of paper. Distance at equal eleven point seven centimeters. Now, as we got distance x, we're gonna have to find uh, the distance between b and point c. Now, to find point c, we have to actually get a string involved. Now, this string will be stretched from point a through point F to find point C, which is the intersection point between E and D. Alright. Okay. Plotting point C over here. C. Good. Now we will mark point C and D. One centimeter. Twenty-three. It is about twenty-three point five. Distance. L equals twenty three point five centimeters. Now over here, I'll be calculating all right, over here I will be calculating the angle. So we have distance x. 
equals 11.7 centimeters. We have distance L G plus 2, 23.5 centimeters. The ratio Alright, X over L equals to the arc tangent of the angle. It's really actually equal to the tangent, sorry, of the angle. Angle. To find the angle, to find the angle, we use the arc tangent. The arc tan. Now the ratio would be 11.7 centimeters over 23.5 centimeters. Here we have tan theta equals, let me just get my calculator out. Okay. 11 divided by 23.5. It would be 0 0.49. The answer over here is 0 0.49. Now the reason why we can get this, that we're using tangent, is because the three, uh, if you actually measure all three sides, the fraction from A to F to B, it would be a right triangle, and that's why we can use tan to find this angle. And over here we're going to use tan inverse, so theta would equal to tan inverse of 0 0.49 so theta equals 0 0.49 which is 26.10 6.10 degrees now we have to find the index of refraction. Now basically we have to substitute in Snell's law equation. Alright, now it is equal to n, which is the index of refraction, equal to 0, 2.00056 times sine 0.5 theta m d plus 60 now when we substitute it will be 2.00056 times okay, let's just finish the brackets form of it Divided by mm, divided by two, which is multiplied by zero point five, and then sine. The answer we get zero point sixty eight times by two point zero 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 five six. It would be one point thirty six. So the index of refraction n equals one point. Equals 1.36. Now there's an the index fraction of the liquid lemon juice. Thank you very much.